So the game has literally ended about 30 seconds ago. So I thought it might be 30 to be fair, probably about 20 seconds if that. Uh, so time for the reaction. As you can probably tell by my surroundings, I am back in the shithole is Portugal. Uh, so uh, I was watching this by I follow. Uh, so a lot of these are based on the camera angle, uh, these opinions. So we'll start with the form going into this game. So six losses in seven. It's not good enough. It got us down to. We started off that run. We actually started that run in first. We were winning uh, League One at that time. Granted, only um, a few games had gone by since then. We'd only won one, uh, which took us back up to second. And we were seventh before kickoff. Um, I haven't looked um, at where we are on the table because I say literally the game finished and I started recording. Um, but we're not going to be as high as seventh. But to be fair, it's the first time this season where we've gone behind and not lost. So I'm relatively happy and we just needed to stop this run of losses. But for the majority of the game, it did look like that run of losses was going to continue because we just couldn't hit a barn door. Um, the first half we were awful. Um, we were really bad. Um, so much to the point where had Rochdale scored a second, there's not a chance in how we would have um, we would have come back and got anything out of that game. We were terrible because the formation and the tactics do not work. And they only fact fact I need to sum that up with. In about the 80th minute, give or take, we were one 0 down. We bring on our second striker. Four minutes later, we're winning. Now I know John Akinde didn't have any any. Um, he wasn't there, he wasn't he didn't sell the goal, he didn't score the goal. But having that second strike on allows more freedom for Tyler Walker to move around. Um, and he was got in a great position to make that glancing header and score. Um, because we didn't let score before the second strike came on. So the tactics don't work. Player second striker. We score. It happened at Wickham as well. We brought a second striker on at half time. And miraculously we scored within three minutes. 4 4 one, one, or 4 5 one. Do not work. Stop playing it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm having a video right now. Um, but yeah, that first half was just not good at all. It's just players just. It's like they say that, that everything's business is normal since the Cowboys left, but it quite clearly isn't. So even if you take into account uh, when we went top, we just beat South in 4 0. And I think a few days later, the Huddersfield rumours started for the first time around. And the bad form started after that, so there's no way they can really say that it didn't affect them because you don't a side doesn't suddenly go from playing as confidently as they did against Southend and Rotherham, and suddenly lose seven out of, six out of seven. Sorry, um, it just doesn't happen. Um, yeah, you'll lose a few. It's always inevitable to happen, but you don't go on that sort of run and lack of confidence. That side in the first half was not the same Lincoln side, so I can see my hair sticking out here. It's really bugging me. I don't know if I'm ah, there we go. It's on the wrong side. That's why. Um, the side that we were playing early, like if we were playing like we were at the beginning of the season, we would have easily won that game two or three tonight. Um, but we aren't. We're just lacking confidence, and it shows. Um, and to sum it all up, it's just like I wouldn't say like lack of confidence. For example, in the second half, there was Tyler Walker broke through on the right. Um, but he had two defenders. He looked over, there was not a single other player near, near the box. So we decided to uh, keep it and then he passed it back to, I think it was Anderson, I want to say. Tyler Walker made no effort at all to get back in the, to get into the box. He just sort of casually strolled around, didn't really do anything. Um, but as I say, he scored a winning goal, so I'm going to let him off. And to be fair, there's not a single player that I can pick out as being bad during the game. Um, Toffolo certainly had a better game than he did the other day. Not that that's saying a lot. Um, but yeah, um, but in terms of that, it's it's just I'm still not. I just get a feeling it's depending on what McCombs in charge for. I get the feeling he's not going to switch to four, four two or anything that involves two strikers. He's going to keep these same tactics like that aren't working until he changes, and he's changing a bit late. I reckon he made that substitution about five minutes earlier. We probably would have gone on and won that because we dominated that second half. We were come to be the better side in that second half. So it's um. Frustrating in a way because another five minutes I reckon would have gone on to win that, but you know what? We didn't lose, so I'm happy. And I'm far happier than I was about five minutes before the game ended, so yeah. Um, so yeah, um, nothing more, really much more to talk about. Oh, the terrible set piece. We are terrible at set pieces these days, uh, absolutely awful. For a side, we have, we have a reputation somehow being great at set pieces. I have no idea where that comes from because our set pieces are awful. Um, oh. Whoops. 
Um, our set pieces are bad. Like it's, if they're not going to the first defender, we are letting Jacob Shackle take free kicks uh, 25 yards out, and it sails over the stand and into the road. Um, so yeah, um, got nothing else really to say on the game. To be fair, I said we didn't lose for a change, which is good. And I think it's I think you just needed that. Um, and it's just yeah, it's just a nice little fresh start. Let's put our bad run behind us. So that's the only blip we have during the season, because this run has reminded me a lot of how the relegation season ended, in that you could have we could play for we could play until the early hours of the morning every single game, and we wouldn't have scored in any of the games. Um, and it's been reminding me a lot of that recently. Um, so yeah, um, I mean I suppose it depends on who the new manager is really, because today. Um, Newport released a statement saying that what's his face? Flynn. Um, they've said that he's uh, confirmed his commitment to Newport. Whether that's him not interested in the job or he spoke to us and we decided we don't want him, it's unclear. But either way, he's not coming. I don't think Ainsworth's coming either. Um, so it leaves the door wide open. And I think I think I read somewhere that because I can't access Skybet out here. Uh, in Portugal because the UK and Ireland are in the app and it tells me so when I try and look it. Appleton is apparently the th- well two to one, I think was the last time I saw. It. Um, I really don't mind. Please no. Um, I did. S- I'm pretty certain I saw Gary Row at, at the game now. I mentioned it in my um, in my video following the Bristol Rovers game. I'm pretty certain I saw him, but I couldn't be entirely sure. But on the Stage West blog um, podcast, they did say that. He has been interviewed, although Gary has since confirmed it's uh, from another source that he's heard this. I'd be very happy with Robert. Um Appleton, um, no, I just don't want him um, for reasons I've previously gone into. But to be fair, I think um, I don't really think there's anyone else in the frame. I mean, a lot of people have been saying Phil Parkinson, decent at his level. Um, don't really know a lot about him recently, to be fair. Um, had this been five, six years ago, I would have known a lot, but I don't really know a lot about him at the moment, to be fair. Um, other than that, um, I, I don't think Adkins has been mentioned for a while, so I think he's probably out of the running now. Um, but other than that, we'll see. Hopefully there'll some movement before Saturday, or at least some indication, because we definitely need, need an actual manager um, at the bench, just to try and get stuff moving forward. Uh, and, yeah, we'll go from there. But anyway, I'm going to leave this here. Uh, there will be another video following the Oxford game on Saturday. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So I will see you following Saturday evening.